Buckle up, y'all. We got some unboxings to do. All right, so, um, got a lot of boxes in. Let's uh, move them to the side. So let's look at this. We got this one, nice little package that just came in. We've got a, what is this one from OPB right here? We've got, I'm gonna have to start setting these down on the ground or something. We've got one in from Kickstarter. We've got another book box in from Magnetic Press from a Black Friday haul. And then we've got the big end. I will try and lift this. This is the 50 pound behemoth from Organic Price Books. So I've cut most of these open so that we can at least get going on them and we're not spending too much time watching me cut stuff open. But we got a lot to get through. So let's get this going. So the first thing, we'll start, start with the smaller one. We've got a book in from a friend of the show, friend of the Instagram channel, mainly. Um, let's see, let's cut all this open. It is a Christmas book I'm actually very excited about because I was running out of Christmas books and just when I was thinking about it, like wondering what I'm gonna read, uh, I usually read Claws over there, volume one, two, and three. There's a Kickstarter going on right now for that from Boom uh, that collects all three of those hardcovers because a couple of them, one or two of them are out of print. So I was looking at how, what, what else can I read for Christmas? And uh, Brian Mong and Ariel Olivetti, uh, Brian contacted me, I believe, on, face, on Instagram and sent me a copy of his new book, The Christmas Bandits. Very excited to read this, check it out. Uh, looks bonkers, looks super cool. The art looks incredible. Very excited to check out a new Christmas story. So. Be watching for that overview soon. Now, let's get into, let's see. Um, let's get this over here. We'll get into the channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. Uh, very excited about this. If you don't know Organic Price Books, they are an insanely, insanely good uh, distributor. Um, they have some of the best prices you'll find. They have by far the best packaging, I, I think, you'll find. And they will for sure have the best communication around. Uh, it's crazy. Attention postal inspector thing, saying this qualifies as media mail. A thank you from JP personally in there. And then I know they, you know, they have great packaging, but they're also trying out new methods of packaging. So we got uh, more recyclable materials, which I can appreciate and then cover up my dress. But in here, look at this. Check this out. The book is in here in this nice little, uh, nice little package to kind of hold it together. And I think that is super cool. Um, I think I'm gonna need scissors because I didn't get this part cut open yet. Uh, hopefully this video isn't like 30 minutes long or something and just astronomically like long. <laughs> Uh, so let's get that out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye box. Okay. I need the scissors again. This is why I pre-cut stuff because you don't want to watch me cutting stuff open on camera. I'll get yelled at for misusing scissors and I'll take too long. All right. So if you know me, I love Dustin Nguyen and Jeff Lemire. He's one of my favorite uh, creators. Ascender Deluxe Hardcover Volume 1 just came out. I absolutely love Descender Volume 1 and 2. Ascender continues right after Descender Volume 1 and 2. Whew, very excited to finally get this in. Oh man, I'm so excited for it. So excited. Um, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Let's get into the Black Friday haul. Uh, I finally used up all my... Uh, ambassador points because if you share links and all that on uh, and people use them to sign up through magnetic press which also there's ambassador points and all that with uh, organic price books too so you can save money on top of saving money uh, or as you spend money and save money spending money you're also earning uh, ambassador points to then use on gift cards and earn more 
So let's uh, get into Magnetic Press's books that I bought off Black Friday, and I paid barely anything for this. $10 because I've been saving up all my ambassador points, which they give you for all the Kickstarters, which I have a Magnetic Press Kickstarter that I got ambassador points, used them on this, make it extra cheap. So I have set, I think seven books in here. So they have all that paper on top and then in here like this. So very recyclable or green. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, let's get this open. It's like Christmas right now, y'all. So excited. Uh, yeah. So on top of Black Friday deals, they also have bundle deals where if you buy like a set of books, you get extra off. So everything is like, I don't know, when it came down to it, it was like 60, 70% off. Crazy good stuff. So I picked up the uh, Hercules, I think is how they, they spell it in here. But basically Hercules... Volumes one, there's volume one. Look at that foil. Cover my face so it focuses on it. Come on. Volume one. And then ugh. volume two. And then volume three. So we got kind of a yellow, red, blue going on with that. Very excited to check those out. I've heard really good things. Now we'll get into some more books. Holy cow. We'll just tear this paper over open. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. It looks so cool. So this is a no text only art book telling the story. What does it say? Like an old fisherman lost at sea. Uh, his doting wife waits dutifully for him to return and mishaps lead him further across the ocean. So kind of a uh, like long lost love, love crossing the ocean kind of thing going on. But it is so cool looking. The art looks friggin' awesome. Wow, look at that art. Look at that. Ooh Some really good stuff in here. Man, I'm really excited for the A Sea of Love. And then we have, I've been interested in this. I haven't heard anything about this, but it just keeps, keeps, uh, keeps taunting me whenever I'm on the website. But Doom Boy looks so cool by, um, try and say his name right, Tony Sando, Sen, Sandoval, Sandoval. Looks so cool. I love his art. Looks so good. And I'm all about having those books that have like different kind of, uh, um, dimensions and um, scale so this is more of a wide book which I love and then let's get to the next one I totally forgot what's in here at this point it's been a little bit let's see oh yes fraternity just looks super cool I honestly like I love picking out like books that I one I don't know but I, I know I keep talking about Magnetic Press and how cool they are, but I love that I get to read books that are European and just very different and just standalone and the art's always so different and the storytelling is just, vi I keep saying different, but it's just so different and it's so fresh and, and fun to read a story with different techniques using for storytelling and all that. So... I love digging into some of these stories where I just have no idea what they look like, but that's kind of a good idea of the art in there. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. Let's kind of flip some of the pages, but the coloring and the art and so many of these books are so good. And then we have, uh, oh, there's a little thing in there. A little, a little sheet in there, but um, Lumine by Bangle, which I love Bangle. His stuff is so good. Uh, this was actually supposed to be a slipcase, so this is a slipcase, gonna have to hit them up for that, but because I know they had the slipcase version and then the regular version, so I'll have to hit them up for that, but oh well. Uh, very excited to grab this book at least and check it out and see what the fuss is about, because I keep hearing good things about it too. Man, look at that art. I love the art in these books. They pick, Magnet Press just picks such cool, interesting uh, stories and the art, oh man, just so good. I love it. There's a little print in there, right there. Very cool. Come on, focus up. 
There we go. So cool. Love it. 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 Okay. So what do we do next? Do we do the uh, magnetic press Kickstarter? I think so. And then we'll dive in to the giant box from Organic Price Books. All right. So let's get into this now. We got a big old box in here. Uh, they use um, uh, not really a reshipper, but um, man, I keep forgetting what their names are. That package these Quartermaster, Quartermaster Logistics packages them all up. So they do a pretty good job. There's a little bit extra room in, in there than I'd like for some stuff, but I've only had things with very light kind of corner dings before. So anything missing, slip in there. Let them know. All right, so this is a Kickstarter, so it's got a bunch of bunch of extra stuff in it. So this is the Temujin, Temujin Journeyman Bundle. So let's get this open. There's gonna be a ton of extras in here. Very excited about this. I love all these extras that they do. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's just a buttload of prints in here. And I won't cut them open and make it because this video is already like way too good and way too long, but there's a ton of prints in here. And then we got, ooh, here's the uh, uh, limited edition numbered card. Come on, focus, focus, there we go. There's the numbered card. So I have 571 out of 650. And then a little bag, cool. I totally forgot about the bag, but the bag, that's super fun. I don't know what I'll use another bag for, but there we go, another bag. So there we got some prints. We got the bag. We got the sign numbered thing. Where am I putting all this stuff? And then we have the coin. I thought coins would be so just, um, just cheesy to do like these challenge coins, but man, I have really started to love them and enjoy them and collect them, collecting them. It's the collector spirit in me. So this, this one's really cool. It's a lot smaller, but it's very, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. You can do it camera. So there's the coin and then there's the other side. So that's really cool. I've really enjoyed these uh, challenge coins that they've been doing. I have every single one of them. They're all right over here. So this will go in the stack with the rest of them. Look at all these coins. And they've been experimenting with some different types, which is pretty cool. So like one of the last ones they did has like a spinner inside of it, which is so cool. Love it. And then there's some that have like from the Arsene Lupin one has like a cipher on it. If it's ever going to focus, man, I got to change the settings of this camera. So it grabs focus separate differently. Come on, come on, do it, do it. Fine. Screw it. I won't show you. And there's like different colors. So there's lots of gold and this one's like this really dark black color. Very cool. This one's cool. It's a little bit smaller, obviously. It's like the, size of the inside of this coin actually. So yeah, but very cool. Very fun. Been digging those coins a lot. Oh, look out lightsaber. Ah, stuff's falling over. All right. And then let's get to the actual, Oh no, no, we're not getting to the actual. There's more, more prints. Holy cow. They do a ton of prints. There's like pre-registration prints and there's, uh, uh, like, like stretch goal prints. This is a, oh, this is the dust jacket. Nice. Oof. A little bent up in there, but you know what? We'll live. I think that's a dust jacket. I think this one came with a dust jacket. We'll see. None of the other magnetic press books have dust jackets. So I'm not sure that I really want a dust jacket on a, one of their books and none of the other ones. So there's a little leather coaster that we got. And then yes, more bookmarks. I always start tons of books and then forget to finish them. So I need tons of bookmarks to keep track of all my, all my spots. And then again, way more tons of prints all sealed up in here. So I won't make you watch me un, un, uh, unwrap those. Uh, get those in there. Okay. Nope. 
I was gonna say, I think we're ready for the book, but nope, not ready for the book because we got one more print, bam. That is beautiful. This, the art in this book just looks phenomenal. All right, I think we're ready for this book. Oh, look at this, it's so pretty. So pretty. It's like the super foily silver. Wow, that's gorgeous. And they got the rounded corners on there because you can't have dented corners if you don't have corners. Then there's the back. This looks so, so good. Oh my God, look at this art. So nice, so pretty. Wow, I'm excited for this one. I got a ton of extra stuff in here, jeez. Okay, so I gotta get all this stuff out of the way. So I can make a big old stack, show you at the end if I can even lift it, we'll see. Uh, get that stuff out of the way. All right, so that's second to last box. Now we have the creme de la creme giant boxes. Ugh. I need to work out more. So we got that guy right there. All right, this is a big one. So this one comes from Channel Sponsor Organic Price Books. So I'm gonna be doing a bunch of uh, reviews on their YouTube channel over at Organic Price Books on YouTube um, where you'll see videos from me on their channel doing a little back scratching. They send me some books to review, look at, and then I can hook them up with some more videos and then I get to make my own videos with them too, like unboxings and then more, more in-depth long form reviews maybe. But first we have Peanuts. Y'all, this is my first Peanuts book. I'm very excited for this, especially because it's the time when I was reading Peanuts, the 90s. It's uh, 91 through 2000. So it's all the ones that I grew up reading. So cool. And look at this. This is a double slipcase set. Oh, I know that this, so this is volumes 9 and 10 that just came out. And I believe that's the end of all the Peanuts. Is This is the last one. Uh, there are a ton of them. So there's 10 of these. And there's like five or 10 other ones in a little bit different format. I think they're like the taller, more traditional size format. But man, so excited. So, so, so excited. Check that out. Boom. Looks so good. Very excited to check out Peanuts uh, and get back to that kind of um, uh, comic strip style that I grew up on. Speaking of comics, and characters that I grew up on. We've got another one in here that I grew up on. We've got Uncle Scrooge, the Diamond Jubilee Collection. We gonna be looking at this. Holy cow, y'all, look at this book. It is huge and it is glorious. Man, those colors are so nice. I mean, you look, you see them on video and pictures, but when you see them in person, so gorgeous. Like just rich and just crisp. Oh man, so excited. And then just tons of stuff at the end. And oh man, very excited to check this out too. Do a nice overview of this one too. It's got like the kind of a fabric feeling spine. It's not actual fabric, but like it's got that difference there. So nice. Get some awesome packing material out of here. And then we've got, ugh. so this, is the world of the Mirrorverse by Dark Horse. So we are gonna dig into this, see what this is. Uh, yeah, so I love all these different characters and it's just really cool art book in here. So we'll do a little bit of an overview and flip through of all these characters and all the different things that's in here. Um, talk about this book more. <sighs> Don't show this to my kids. My girls will freak out because they love themselves from some Frozen. So I don't know, I'll have to ask them about this book too. Oh man, it's got so much like Snow White in here. Oh man, Mr. Incredible. <sighs> so cool. Anna, Anna, sorry, not Anna, Anna from Frozen. So cool, very cool, very cool. So we're gonna be checking that one out too. And then this is the last one. It is why this box is, oh my gosh. <laughs> It is so heavy. Ugh. Okay, we'll get that box out of the way. And we got this box. So it's a box within a box. And then within that box, 
is another box. So in here is a paper covered box. <laughs> the packaging on these. I appreciate it, but also it gets a little, little crazy. Ugh. Did you hear that? Did the camera shake when I set that down? Holy cow. All right, so I will, let's try flipping this. Ugh. Now I know what it's like to have a baby. Don't tell my wife I said that, she'd kill me. Ugh. All right. Let's rip this paper open and see. I'm so excited for this. We have, ugh. if I can pick it up. Oh, these are a lot bigger than I was expecting to be. Love and Rockets, 40th anniversary, the first 50 slipcase edition. This thing is huge. These are such big books. I was expecting it to be like smaller scale, but no, 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 no. Fantagraphics says no, no. We are, we're going all out. And they went all out. So this has, what is it? Seven volumes, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven volumes of actual story. And then a whole bunch of extras in the final one. Uh, which is like letters and uh, behind the scenes and all this kind of art stuff. So let's let's uh, turn it this way so I can get that book out easier. Come on. There we go. So here is book one. So this collects like volumes one, two, three, four, and five from, uh, yeah. The first first bit of it so very excited to finally finally get into love and rockets i've wanted to read this series for so long and now we are here and we are getting into it first few pages oh man so so i mean what's cool about love and rockets other than it's very interesting publishing schedule in that and creative schedule in that it's like two brothers and each month they would switch who wrote what or who wrote and they would then switch also who did the covers for that week one would do the cover and one or not week month one would do the cover and one would do the uh, back side uh, rear side, back of the book and then one would write and one would take a break and all that and they would each write their own characters that kind of coincided but they would write their own stories that were going on. And these characters over the past, like, well, first 50 issues, and there's like another like 20 issues after that. Uh, it's technically still ongoing, but then they would, uh, these characters over the past, like, I don't know how long, it's been, been since like 81. Uh, so they're four years older than I am. So they're 40 years now, I guess 40th anniversary. Um, they've all aged in real time which is insane 40 years of characters aging in real time so cool so 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 cool all right so i'm not going to try and lift up that box with all these books but here we are Ugh. so just imagine that red book on top is the entire slipcase set that about does it for <laughs> this unboxing this was insane am i office is trashed with boxes so stoked uh that's it don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications do all those things but comment what is let's do slip cases what's your favorite slip case set your favorite book in a slip case if it's just a single book in a slip case or uh, uh a whole series in a slip case let me know in the comments what your favorite one is uh, whether you have it or not. If you do have it, let me know how much you love it. Uh, if you don't have it, let me know why you don't have it. Is it way too expensive? Are you waiting for it for Christmas? Or are you just unable to find it or unable to pull the trigger for some reason? Let me know in the comments. Love talking with you all. That's it. Take care. Stay cool.